So, my fiance has way too many role playing books. Like, you see this? That's not even a, a pin drop. Oh, keep going. Oh, there's more. Like, you don't even know. This isn't even half. Keep going. No, that hardly even counts. There's more. I know, it's piled so high, you can't even see them. Hey, I'm back here. But, there's more coming. Coming. Yeah. Keep showing them. We're getting close now. Hi, I'm still here. That's all the books. This is the magazines. Oh, right, there was more on the table, or the chair, I mean. I forgot about those ones. This is my entire role playing library. And we're going to get into it a book at a time here on Retro Reviews. Hey everybody, and welcome to another Retro Review Night. Must be Thursday. Anyways, Guess Laura's that. here to keep me from rambling, and I'm about ready to, so I'm going to turn it over to you to just tell everybody the format of how hey we everybody. do this. Hey uh, everybody. So I've got a list of questions to go through uh, for a different role-playing book. Uh, fans got a stack. <laughs> and so we've got... Uh, different book every night, and what do we have? Tonight we have the City city of Peril. This is another one of the fantastic locations for 3rd edition Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Um, where did you get this book? Uh, Beat All and Bookseller. Uh, again, I seriously, I it was basically my... Uh, Financial refund check. Yeah, quite a few years. Kind of just like <laughs> go in, buy out the whole shelf, and yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Um, so what did you like about this book? Uh, the maps. Again, this is another one of the fantastic locations. So you have detailed encounter maps for the DM on the inside cover, and then you've got the beautiful full table size maps that are included with this. Uh, the map for the, oh, that's a map from another magazine that got thrown in there. The map for the, for the tavern, I pretty much use repeatedly over and over and over. Uh, it's a nice generic tavern that I just, mm. you know, I need a bar. I've got so, a map the size of the table. Okay, let's do Really it. useful. Really useful. Uh, what didn't you like about this book? The fact that I've gotten more use out of the maps than the actual like encounters and setups. Mm -hmm. Like there's actually an adventure here where you're going through everything. But I've never run the adventure. I just use the I just use the maps. I use the, the Thieves Quarter map, the market map, and the tavern map mm -hmm. a lot. There's a sewer map that I've I think I've used that once or twice, but Yeah, okay. Um so is it something you'd recommend to other gamers? For the maps alone, yes. Uh, also, if you're thinking about wanting to set up some in-town adventures, definitely having this uh, to give you ideas to build off of and just, you know, you can easily cut and paste the scenarios into your own game. It's, yeah, no, the fantastic locations, pretty much all of them were a hit. And City of Peril was pretty definitely want it's I think out of all of them it's actually yeah because I use the map so much I get the most mileage out of this uh, is it something you're planning to keep yes for the maps <laughs> for the maps keeping it for the maps yeah gotcha. okay well that's all I got all right well thanks for joining us everybody remember like comment share subscribe all those things that make YouTube say that we're doing a good job and if uh, 
want, leave a comment down below. Was City of Peril one of your favorite modules? Right. Okay. Good night, everybody. Later.